Mo Norman called this his master move with the vertical drop to start the downswing. Now, after hearing John Ram say that most of his good golf was being inspired by Mo Norman with that driving tip, I thought I would dive further into this. I'm gonna give you one of my favorite Mo Norman master move downswing drills here. I can't wait to share it with you. This is gonna be mega. So I'm gonna answer this question from Rich here today because this channel is all about helping you play your best golf. So as long as you're a subscriber, and you've turned on the bell, you can just post your comment down below. I'll be sure to respond and help you play your best golf this summer. Now, the thing that sticks out to me in what he's saying here is that he said he doesn't think about the hip movement at all. It's more from this torso to get this drop of the golf club. And his whole idea is that the club head, as you start down, gets further I repeat this, it's gonna be a strange concept and feeling for you, further behind you. Now I've been banging on about this for a while. I'm a big believer in this and look at this from the player cam perspective. I really believe that we have too much onus right now on how we fire the hips and it's not practical for around about 98, 99% of golfers. Like I reckon I have to fix more people with overactive hips and upper body than more than I have to do this, 100%. So let's dive into this drill. It is really, really simple. The first stage is actually just to do a few reps, not even hitting any golf balls. Now again, I'm gonna show you a mixture of angles here, just so you can get the idea. So to set it up, what you do is you're gonna place your driver shaft in the crease of your right arm for a right-handed golfer. Let's just simply be the opposite way, way round for a left-handed golfer. You're gonna put your palms like this. Now, the beauty of this drill, move it to the top, right? Now, if you come over the top and sort of spin out of it, your golf is gonna fall in front of you. His whole idea with this drill was to get you to organize your body correctly, or my body, but you watching this video right now, to, uh, okay, to get the vertical drop, the first start of the downswing is just straight down. Well, how, what would that look like and where would the club fall? Behind you. Look what angle the club has fallen on. I've fallen on that. If you're spinning out of it, you've got no chance of doing that. So what I really recommend, and I know a lot of people love this when I say this, give me five to eight reps feeling, don't have to drop it, just feeling if it did drop where would it fall look what this is doing to my body i'm moving my hips but i'm only moving my hips as a result of feeling this drop and that's the amount of hip turn you need not turning yourself inside out to where you feel like you're going to give yourself a bad back now to bring this to life let's put both hands on this golf club now watch this from that player cam perspective i said and this is one thing that really stuck to me he said he felt like a club head gets further away from you or further behind you to start the downswing. Now watch this player cam. This would be sort of moving it closer to you, more in front. Look how feeling this just drop to start sends the golf club head way behind you. All we've got to do now is swing through naturally on that arc and you're going to start hitting more from the inside. It's that simple. I was absolutely ripped. It's just about to land now. So what I'm thinking about in this shot, and again, Mo Norman, this whole idea stuck out to me because it's very, very achievable for all of us. No matter sort of age or ability, this is what I want you to think about on the golf swing, on the golf course. And something I reckon, right, if you're playing this week coming up, use it with irons and with your driver. I want you just to think about this, right? When you do this drill, when you're doing your five to eight reps, what arm is higher? Your left. So I want you to think, the whole idea is, as you start down, you're gonna keep your left arm higher than your right for as long as possible. Most of us achieve the opposite, don't we? Right arm is way higher than left. So see how building a drill, building feelings, from this absolute genius of the golf swing, John Ram's being inspired by him, you can start your downswing correctly. Don't focus on your hips, focus on one thing only, that as you come into impact, your right arm 
is lower than your left for a right-handed golfer. Now, the only way you'll achieve that is by sending that club further behind you. Okay, have a look at this one right here. We're gonna hit this one away. Look up this one in slow motion. <laughs> 